Hello YouTubers, uh, Tross here, playing some more Kerbal Space Program. Uh, we're here at the Space Center uh, right now. Uh, the sun is... Actually, I'm not sure if it's rising or setting. <laughs> um, last time we completed the visual surveys of Minmus. We got the last three areas. And complete the whole contract. Hey, Gene. So I'm going to look at uh, some more contracts here. We still have a few. Um. Oh, Moon. We're currently doing these two. And actually also that one. <laughs> uh, but we sent a probe and it's going to take a, quite a while. To get there, I did notice um, build an orbital station around Minmus. I I think that's worth doing. I mean, we put one on <laughs> build orbital station around Kerbin. Did I say Minmus? We put one on Minmus. Uh, so I'm gonna take this. We have five years to do it. Uh, we'll we'll do it eventually. Um, there's also more temperature scans and visual surveys of Minmus. I'm gonna do this, uh, dock two vessels in orbit around Kerbin. We can actually probably do that, uh, as we put the, uh, station, uh, there, up in orbit. Um, expires in five days, but I don't think it ever has, uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't have a deadline. Uh, one final one I noticed that, to me, looks very interesting. Recover a barbell and her craft from the surface of Minmus. Now, we're not going to be able to do that now. Uh, we're going to have to build a different ship for this, but it's a two-ton craft. It's probably just a pod. Uh, but we're going to have to figure out some way of collecting it, getting it off Minmus, getting it back to Kerbin, and landing it safely. So that, that seems pretty interesting to me. Um, so I'm going to take this. Uh, again, we're not going to be doing it right now. All right. Uh, so let's go back to what we were doing on Mimis. Um, actually, you can check in uh, down here. We want not the probe, but the surveyor one. Uh, which is over here on the flats and we want to uh, oh, we want to get it over here so we can drop off uh, some science uh, so let's fly it alrighty here we are I believe we collected all the science we can here. Um, and we want to basically head north. As far as I understand. <laughs> From last time we discussed, if we head north, uh, we, that should pass us right over the pole. And it should get us rather close to this. We'll have to see. Uh, so basically we want to go up a little bit, but then basically try to get as flat horizontal as we can facing north. So we don't, the less height we gain, you know, if we can stay below 10 kilometers, uh, that will be the most efficient way of going. You know, if we go up 20, 30 kilometers, well, that's a lot of fuel wasted heading up. And we do have enough fuel currently, um, but not, you know, we don't want to waste too much. 
Because we need to take off here, land, and then take off and get home. Um, but I have a feeling going home will be quite a while. Alright, you guys ready? Let's uh, do this. And then we got. Let's put that other solar panel out. I don't think we'll really be wanting for electricity, but it's always best to have them all out just in case. Alright. We are going to lift off in three, two, one. Alright, let's turn north here. gonna aim yeah we can go pretty flat I think um helps if we're I'm gonna raise up because that looks like a bit of a dangerous mountain we want to make sure we pass over it and not through it Whoa! Yeah, remember what I said about not wanting to go too high? <laughs> so, that was a complete disaster. I really should have been watching more carefully. Oh, while we're here, we can... Well... Plan the maneuver a little better. Something along those lines. Is that helping us or hurting us? That's... Yeah, so we thrust it about a hundred meters per second more than we want it to. And now we need to do this maneuver. Alright, that's not too bad. Um, however, once we're here... We're gonna want to turn a bit, so we're not exactly on the opposite side of the planet. Thinking something like that. That's in nine minutes. So let's time warp a bit. And the planet will rotate a bit, and that's why I went ahead. Three, two, about a minute. Something like that. As long as we have about 300 units of fuel left, I think we'll be good. Okay. We got a burn in about 20 seconds. It's a four second long burn. Probably start at five seconds and do only about half. Should be good, I guess. <laughs> we'll see. And let's start burning. And stopping. Went a little over, but we have uh, a bit of time here. 
Um, as we see, that's like 11 minutes. And we need to come to a stop. Okay. That is where we are headed. So let's uh, time warp a bit. And the moon is going to rotate a bit. Hopefully, well. Rotating a bit more than I expected. We add a maneuver. Something like that. small little burn here but this is all using up fuel so okay um, according to this can I look go free camera according to this we have about two minutes until we are approximately over the site I want to land close to the station but not that close so you know 100 meters or so will be fine really anything less than half a kilometer I'd be really happy with And, you know, as I said, having 300 units of fuel left, too, would be great. Let's uh, time warp a bit here. Alright, it says we have a 14 second burn in about 30 seconds or so. Actually, I'm going to start, well, right about now. Alright, that should be coming straight down at this point. And we're seven kilometers away, but we're also about seven kilometers up, so I think we'll be pretty close. That says orbit. I really want surface. Almost messed that up again. Alright, we're probably drifting slightly. But it's no more than a few meters per second.
All right, I'm gonna time warp a little bit here. We're about a kilometer. Okay. Um, starting to gain some good speed here. So, also probably going to be a bit further than I wanted. But, you know, that's going to be okay. Oop. Had a little bit of a lag there. Let's slow down here. Ah, that was the lag was the ship loading in. Down at 20 meters per second, but uh, we're picking up speed again. Yeah, we're probably going to be a kilometer away or so. Oh well. We got jet pack fuel. Alright. Yeah, start slowing down here. Coming down at um seven eh, slowed up a little too early. 10 meters per second. Got about 20 seconds. Slowed up too much there. <laughs> Again. Don't go up, don't go up. Come on. Gravity is so light here. And we are down. Okay, uh, let's switch over to the station and see how those guys are doing. Hey everyone, how you doing here? They have collected 48 science. <laughs> um, but they have quite a lot of data still. So, um, They've been here 11 days. I'm going to give them... Oh. How are we doing... Here. <laughs> Switch to... This is the Duna Probe. We got 270 days. Till our next maneuver. Um, I'm hoping that just put us around here. Okay. Switch two. We should be back. Actually, it's not a rocket anymore, are you? Um, we're just going to say Minmus Station. And we'll say you're a base. Yeah, so... We can time warp. Um, that was the wrong button for time warping. <laughs> we switched the flag there. Um,
Yeah, and this actually isn't even that fast. Uh, I think we haven't even done a single day. Looks like we don't have enough solar panels on here. Uh, or batteries, actually, I should say. Do run out of power a bit each day. Done about... Uh, <laughs> let's say 15 days now. Actually, it's been more than that. 17... Let's stop when we have a hundred science left. See, science per day is decreasing, I'm assuming, as they have less science to work on. Oh, science is increasing, the data is decreasing. Okay, I had that backwards for a moment. So they still have plenty of data. Do they run out of power? No, they're not running out of power. That's interesting. See the surveyor probe uh, orbiting in a polar orbit fly past every so often at a different angle. Didn't realize how long this would take. <laughs> I knew it would take a, quite a few days, but I guess I should have done the math and figured out, you know, it probably is at that rate. See, that's science a day. I don't know how much data a day that was, though. It's apparently not one-to-one. -one. I wonder... Oh, I know you can get the rate up by having more experienced scientists. Now, Bob here is level 2, uh, but I think our other scientist... Yeah, Utrix is only level 1, so... I think Utrix will definitely level up when we get back. I'm hoping Bob will too. that back up. I'm not sure if leveling up gets you more uh, science per data or if that's a fixed that may be fixed. 
I think it is fixed at something like 5x. Alright, we've gone... Well, about 60 days. We're gonna continue till we're about 300 signs. Alright, that is... 300 science there. I'm gonna ask them to transmit it. We're... just about down to 400 data. This is taking a lot of power, but luckily, uh... Well, at least that one's in direct sunlight. That one is blocked. And we also have these up here. Getting about one and a half each. Probably not that one. But that one will get, yeah, another one. Alrighty, <laughs> it's taking quite a while, but we're at 90% here. Yeah, this, uh... I... 302 science gained, look at that. Didn't realize this has a ton of fuel left. We could probably get this thing to the moon. <laughs> And, uh, satisfy that other contract. Alright, let's, um, switch over here. Um, I'm gonna have Jeb take some science over. Let's uh, retract that panel, because actually that's the, well, that will be fine. No, not the shoot, the panel. S stairs are on this side. I thought they were on that side for a second, but uh, let's EVA, let's uh, take data. And can you jump and turn on your rocket pack and you want to head over to the station. quite a ways away, but uh, probably only going to use, well, we're definitely going to use less than half, uh, less than a unit of fuel. Um, probably going to use a little more than half, but not too much more, I don't think.
Alrighty, here we go. Slow down a bit. The ladder is on this side. Let's turn on. Okay. The ladder is on the dangerous side. Grab board or slide up and board. All right, we have transferred over the scientific data. Um, it's not in the lab yet, but uh, I think we will transfer maybe a little next time. And uh, <laughs> do a great big fast forwarding session. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you then with some more Kerbal Space Program.